Oh, it's incredible. I mean, the atmosphere at D23 is uh, it's electric. I mean, incredible. And uh, what's great about it is the fans in the room, they're really up for this. They want to see, you know, what we've got to offer. So uh, it's kind of very easy to kind of please them. It's amazing. It's quite surreal, actually, because uh, I know the film, obviously, as a kid, that it now the fact that it's back and it, it's really cool to be a part of as well. To come back to the character has been a great experience. Um, something I've always wanted to do. I was only 17 first time around, so... Uh, since then, I've learned a lot about acting. I'm also more worldly now, lived a lot of life, and you can bring all those qualities into the character as well. We work very hard on the, on the project. You know, a lot of blood, sweat and tears goes into it. And so to walk out on stage and have your work appreciated uh, means a lot, it really does. And it's good, it's lovely to have Annabelle in as, as Mims, my daughter in the show as well. And all our new cast members were fantastic. Um, very enthusiastic about the world of Willow in general. Some of them fans themselves, in particular Christian Slater. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to kind of mix it up and have some new characters into the world of Willow. There were chills, for sure. I've done this quite a bit of times, but um, you know, the energy is always unmatched and even just seeing the trailer and seeing the reaction to the trailer yeah, sure. meant everything. I mean, we make and we do what we do for the people who watch it and we want to make the best thing possible for them. So, you know, I'm just so proud and very happy and I can't wait for people to see it. I'm extremely honored. I, I was a fan of the movie when I was a kid and um, honestly to be debuting the, our first official trailer here. I'm from Anaheim, so being able to be here, be home is a feeling I'll never forget. It's definitely, I feel very grateful to be a part of something that actually like means so much to people and means so much to people's childhoods and to watch that be revived is just, it's so special. Oh man, I mean, super exciting. Uh, you know, any time you get the opportunity to make 10, 12,000 people happy and excited, uh, it's a good day. It's a good day. So I'm, I'm really happy to be at D23. This is the first time I've been here. And to get to be here with a project that I am really excited about is, is uh, super fun. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's a continuation from the original story. That excited me. Um, when John told me about the character, uh, I was, I, there was no way I could say no. You know, it's just uh, too fun, too entertaining. You know, I'm really excited for people to see it. Uh, you know, I, it was, I had a lot to work with here, and it was it was just very very fun. Uh, it's it's that it's well when you first walk in, it is a little bit overwhelming. It's like whoa, uh, there's Loki and there's uh, you know whoever else you know Paul Rudd and Harrison Ford and you know it's just everybody that I have grown up with and loved in the movie business you know in this world. Um, you know, I'm just excited and uh, I feel like I should be sitting outside with everybody out there, you know, because I'm just a, a fan. You know, I'm just a fan. I should be an audience member. You know, that's how I feel. I can't believe how many people are there. It's, talk about Willow being an epic. It's epic how many people are there. It's unbelievable and amazing vibe. It's fantastic. Well, it's really funny because I played this character such a long time ago. You know, it's, it's, it's very interesting to see where she is now and, and just what's happened to her in the meantime that we don't get to see. But when we meet her, you know, you carry your life with you. And so um, people who were very attached to that film, it has a, a pretty big fan base. And people show it to their kids and their grandkids. And I mean, it's because it's such a lovely film. And so um, it's nice because it's like there's still points that to connect with. It connects both, you know, the, they go off on a new adventure, but there's still elements of, of the original there. And it's very strong, that tie to the original. So, so I think that's, you know, I think the f people who love Willow will like it for that reason. Anytime you have anything episodic, you have so much more and you, you can layer in all kinds of things. And uh, I mean, it's a great luxury. No, it's amazing to be here. It's amazing because it is a sort of fusion of the imaginative and the unreal. And you see this like, you know, this reel of the classic Disney stuff and the stories that have been told through the machine of Disney. 
and it's wonderful. It's such a proud legacy to be a part of. I'm excited for them to see the show and to see uh, to see Warwick Davis back as Willow and to see this fresh young cast we've brought together and to see how I think that if you're someone who grew up watching the movie, it honors the legacy of Willow. And if you're someone who's coming to it new, it's a very fresh and contemporary adventure story that can be enjoyed on its own merits. So that that's sort of a fun thing to have and be able to put out into the world. It's an exciting moment just as a creator to be seeing the lines blurring between what, what constitutes a movie and what constitutes a show and to be able to do a story on this scale set in this world but do it for television where you have time to really build out the characters and have that fun and you know last night we showed our, our actors the first three episodes and it was very exciting but what you realize is we basically got to make a whole trilogy of movies you know and each three sort of represents an act of that movie and it, it's been it's been really fun